It is Friday. I had a very exciting week and I can't wait to share it with you as well as to tell you guys the things that I'm going to be reading this weekend. Hey guys, it is Samantha. I hope you guys had a great week. We have finally made it to the end of the week. It is finally the weekend, at least for some of us, and I know I am quite happy, as I usually am, because who doesn't love the weekend, right? So as I said in the intro, I had a very exciting week this week, and that was because I went to the Robin Hobb book signing. That's right, Robin Hobb was visiting a city close by me. She's doing a book signing, and I decided to go, and I'm very glad I did. It was really, really a great experience. It was just a lot of fun. I went after work with a couple of my coworkers who have been reading her books, my sister, and she started out the signing by reading a chapter from Fool's Quest, which was a little bit sad because it was totally spoilery, but that's okay. It was great to hear her read her own words. That was pretty cool. And then she did a Q&A session where I actually got up enough courage to ask a question because I was curious about the timeline, uh, the amount of years between the Live Ship books and the Tawny Man trilogy. So I decided to ask what the how many years that was and she told me and she also said I can email her for the timeline of when all the books take place. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was interesting to hear her answer everybody's questions. People asked a variety of questions from like her favorite cover art to how she came up with the story of Fitz and the Fool which I thought was pretty cool. Apparently she told us that she came up with it actually from her notes because she'll write down ideas for books and how she came up with the entire idea for the land of the elderlings where this book series all these books take place was she had written down on a corner of an envelope what if magic is addictive and what if that addictive quality is destructive and that was how this entire book series series is became born, which I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, she also talked about how she never thought she would continue after the Farseer trilogy with Fitz and the Fool, and she said that she decided to write herself one more chapter to prove to herself that she could not go any further with Fitz, and she said 22 pages later she realized she had kind of made a mistake, and at that time she was writing the Live Ship books, so she had to set that aside because she knew she wanted to continue on at that point, finish the Live Ship books, and then she went on with Fitz and the Fool again. Yeah, it was really interesting, it was great to hear her answer those questions, and then we went up to the signing, and I said <laughs> at this point I did not even know what I was going to say. I get really shy and awkward in situations like this so I'm standing in line I'm like I still have no idea what I'm going to say so that was it was very awkward. So I get up there and I hand her my book and I decided to bring A Fool's Fate since this is, is my favorite of her books so far and she actually started. She's like oh where'd you get this cover because it's a UK cover and she said she likes them and I told her book depository and she said yeah I really like these covers and then she said I actually have these cards from Jackie Morris who does the cover art in these um, and Jackie Morris actually signed them so she gave me one of these she had these to give out so it's actually the cover art to the Ship of Destiny the third book in the Live Ship Traders trilogy and then Jackie Morris signed it herself that was pretty cool so she gave me that and then of course she signed this and that was what she wrote to Samantha best wishes Robin Hobb so I am very excited I finally have a signed copy by Robin Hobb's books and I got a meter I was very very happy and it was very exciting. I'll kind of insert some pictures right here from the event that my sister kindly took. And yeah, it was just really a lot of fun. I'm so glad that I went and I got to meet her. It was fantastic. She's a really sweet person, really down to earth. And it was just oh, it was so exciting. It totally made my week. So it was a very exciting week for me. So aside from the Robin Hobbs signing, I really didn't have that many more exciting things that really went on this week. Just work and such. I haven't actually been reading a whole lot this week. I've been kind of busy. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to read as I would have liked. I'm still feeling a little bit book zombie. But I do have two books I really want to get done and read and finish this weekend. The first is going to be Malice. I still haven't finished this. I am halfway through. I It's finally starting to pick up and I'm enjoying it, but I just haven't really felt like reading. So I'm really hoping to set aside some time to really finish this guy up this week. It needs to happen. And then I still need to finish Robin Hobbs, Dragon Keeper, the first book in the Rain Wilds Chronicles, another one that I'm halfway through. I'm enjoying it. I would have to say that so far this is probably my least favorite of her books. It's still good. I mean, I think Robin Hobb could like talk about butter and I would read it because that's how good of a writer she is but it's not my favorite so far but it's still pretty interesting I hear the books get better as the series goes along but I do want to finish this one and then as for other books I'm reading I'm continuing to listen to House of Hades on audiobook I've been listening more than reading this one I am plan on doing that while coloring I started a new picture in my secret garden coloring book which I hopefully will be sharing with you guys soon on my Instagram which is linked below and any other books I want to pick up I do want to still try and pick up the Moonstone by Wilkie Collins this coming week this is something I really want to try and get to soon as well hopefully I can finish 
Malice, and Dragon Keeper, and then that can happen because I also want to start rereading The Hobbit. So I have a lot of books I want to get to this month. I really need to like kind of set aside some time to just read. So I might actually do a complete disconnect from the internet this weekend, just kind of like disconnect from all social media Saturday afternoon through Sunday evening, I think, and then so that way I don't have any distractions and I can kind of focus on other things. I've done that before. It's actually really nice to just kind of distance yourself from technology. It really helps you kind of clear your mind and stuff and it reminds me of when I was younger because I really didn't have internet and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't really big until I was really in college, like tail end of high school, college. So it kind of reminds me of when I used to read a ton in middle school and high school because I didn't have those distractions. So I might do that this weekend as well. Other than that, I should have a pretty low-key weekend. I actually decorated last weekend for fall in my room, as you can tell from the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin here. And then my fall lantern right there and have a few other little things scattered around. So that was kind of fun. All right, guys, that is it for today's Friday Reads video. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you have anything exciting going on or reading anything good or whatever else you want to throw down in the comments please feel free to do so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great weekend and until next time happy reading bye mm -hmm.